Hey, what's up? This is uh, Ian, and we are in uh, Fukuoka, Japan. And in this video, we're going to talk about jujitsu and how rough it is on your body and judo too. So, um, first thing that we'll start off with, I'd say, is I'll tell you my experience. I've been training like probably about five and a half years, and that's a mostly a good five years going about four times a week and as of recent maybe four months I've been going uh, six yeah about six days a week so and I train both judo and jiu-jitsu I spend more time doing jiu-jitsu and I'll do uh, in the past I would do judo like twice a week uh, eight months out of the year at a university and then at college and then uh, now I kind of just started again with the judo and I'm doing three days a week so how hard is it on your body all right um, let's start with your hands this is probably where unless you do no gi if you do no gi that's easier on your hands and on your fingers okay but um, I don't know how well you can see my my hands because to me it's actually dark but if you look at my top knuckles they have um, calluses and you're gonna get those like kind of like here see where I'm kind of rubbing there you're gonna get those if you do no gi a lot I know there's a guy like a purple belt who's been doing 13 years in my in one of my classes and his hands are like actually look pretty good look like a model's hand but he doesn't like he only does it like once a week sorry I'm chewing on some mastic gum here um, uh, so let's see what my other hand looks like now the other thing you got to get like uh, dings and bruises and stuff like you could get uh, you look at my my left pinky finger on the top joint it's a little bit thicker than it was um, and maybe my what is that my is that your ring finger this one uh, the round the joints a little bit swollen because yeah your fingers are gonna get jammed like you ever played basketball then it's gonna be kind of like that you got to jam your fingers um, they're gonna get uh, you can get caught in the fabric and twisted and whatnot um, so your fingers are gonna take some some damage probably or they're just gonna get some wear and tear next wear and tear um, give you a little shot here you can't even see it, but my front tooth here, I got a crack in my enamel. I got kneed here by accident by a big guy and uh, cracked the enamel on my tooth. Uh, other things going to be your ears. Now, I don't really have much. I don't know if you can tell if my ears look normal to you or not. Most of the time I wear, um, I don't know how well you can see, sorry. Uh, most of the time I wear an ear protector, but I got a few lumps and stuff in there. You know, sometimes I don't wear ear protector and uh, so if you do it a lot you're gonna probably get some cauliflower ear not everybody gets it but I don't know how well you can see but um, see we're still going here so those are a few things that uh, aesthetic things that uh, your ears and your fingers and wear a mouth guard it just takes once like you know, I usually wear a headpiece, but one day I got some cauliflower ear from just like one injury. Well, it left like a crack in my sort of crack, a swollen crack like in my ear. And in my tooth, just one time I wasn't wearing my mouthpiece and bam, I get hit. So uh, take precautions if you don't want to get those things. Uh, cauliflower ear or do no gi if you want to keep your fingers in good shape. I can still jam your fingers in no gi, like you just you reach for someone and they move at the same time, and you have like a <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit of a collision. Um, trying to keep this gum on the side of my mouth so it don't sound funny. Uh, now what else? Um, yeah, your toes. Uh, I have a toe. Um, can't see it right now, but it's black and blue at the moment. I have one toe that I got one. When I first started judo, I got one bad injury to my toe and like my toe went totally under and my weight, full weight on was on it and since then I tend to like re-injure it and that's the one that's black and blue. I got some sort of weird lump I've had for probably like 
a year and a half. I don't know what it is. It doesn't, it's not a callus, but it seems like it's under the skin, like almost like bone growth or something, some weird uh, bump there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel inclined to show you now that I'm talking about it. Hold on. I'm going to take my, my shoe off here and I'll show you my toe. Okay, here we go. Uh, so you see by the nail, it's kind of uh, black and blue a little bit. I got this weird... I don't know if this is related to that or not, but there's this weird bump here now. It showed up maybe like a year and a half ago or so. I don't know if it's related. There's the injury, the pain's kind of like in here on this knuckle. But, um, okay, other things, like I'm telling you the bad stuff first. Like, I think there's a lot of good stuff that comes from jujitsu, and like, I feel pretty good. But I'll tell you that in the end. And I don't focus on the, uh, if you can hurt your knees, I've known people that get, have, get some bad injuries, knee injuries, uh, like ACLs. I knew a dude that was in a competition and, I don't know, somehow his knee, he's got his knee messed up from uh, someone tried like a single leg. And um, yeah, someone tried a single leg and he somehow he had to get surgery and had like an ACL. I've heard of other injuries like that, ACL injuries, um, meniscus injuries. I tore meniscus. I never got surgery on it or anything. Uh, I think it, it healed like pretty good, but um, it healed pretty good. I'd say, I don't know, give it a percent. Most of the time, like walking around, I'd never notice it after it healed. Although sometimes it, what happened to me was a big guy. You got to watch out for the big guys. That's my one tip. Watch out for the big guys. Uh, big guy, uh, probably 220 or so, jumped guard, just like, just don't do that. It's like one of those moves you don't need to learn how to do. It's only people only do it in jujitsu and it's dangerous. Uh, you look it up, look up a jumping guard injury and you'll see a lot of nasty injuries. Um, big guy jumped got guard and he didn't actually wrap his legs around me but landed on my extended knee. And um, that was the most painful injury I've had in jujitsu, that's for sure. Um, and yeah, I went to the doctor and had an MRI and said I had a, had a bone bruise and a torn meniscus. Uh, since then, another big guy, like I said, you got to watch out. Play real cautious game with the big guys. That's all I got to say. And if you are a big guy or you're bigger than your opponent, man, you don't need to use, you need to respect that fact and you don't need to use uh, really much strength you already have size and leverage to your advantage so um, yeah just do the technique as my one of my teachers would say you know just um, you don't need to use strength and stuff like that if you're that much bigger than your opponent so um, shit what was I saying uh, yeah knee injury I had another in knee injury uh, not that long ago, three or four months ago, big guy tried Kani Basami, which is also an illegal judo throw. Um, it's very dangerous. It's not done perfect perfectly, and you can really hurt someone's knee. And you can also look that up, Kani Basami knee injury. Do a search for that, and you'll see some nasty looking things. Um, and that, I don't know what that did. I never saw a doctor, but it hurt the inside of my knee. Um, so I kind of think MCL, but mm, I worried that it could have maybe re-injured the meniscus too, which is also on the inside of the knee from before, but I don't know. Now, I train, did I already tell you how much I train? I train like six days a week. So I train a lot. So even though it sounds like I'm probably um, talking a lot about a lot of injuries and stuff, I think I got quite a bit, of, bit, quite a bit of mileage or I've done quite a bit of rolling so uh, I don't know what the hours are but I'm thinking like a good maybe 300 hours a year for more than five years so you can do the math um, or anywhere from like four to four to 
seven hours a week for uh, five, five, five and a half years. Anyways, um, another when I first started jujitsu, my first year, I got uh, another knee injury. Um, I was just I was standing up, and the guy was on the bottom, and he swept me. Um, you know, it's my first six months or so, and you really got to be even more. You always got to be careful in jujitsu, but in the beginning, you're less aware of what's what's dangerous, and it's not just the submissions. That's the thing, like. Jiu-Jitsu, it's not just the submissions that are dangerous. It's the moving, there's twisting. If you resist, you're more likely to get hurt. So, I mean, sometimes you can fight a submission and you'll get out of it. And you won't get you won't get hurt if you you know you, you're doing the technique or whatever to get out of it. But sometimes um, you might fight and you might get a little strain. You might hurt yourself a little bit. Or the last example would be you might fight and just get hurt and really get injured and be out for who knows how long. So mm, you really gotta, uh, yeah, you really gotta be careful, be aware, um, tap early, tap often, as one teacher said. Um, yeah, and your ego is like uh, a big challenge, like. Uh, man, it doesn't matter if you're a white belt or a black belt. Your ego is always going to be a challenge, I think. So, because sometimes you know a lower belt might catch you in a submission, you know, and you don't want to tap out because this is lower belt. And that's like, that's no good. But the thing is, like I heard some dude on Reddit say, uh, said your joints don't have any pride. So. Yeah, man, you got to think about tomorrow. In the moment, it's hard. You don't want to lose. You don't want to tap out. But, you know, in a couple of days, you're going to forget about it. You might remember the next day and be, fuck, that guy, that guy got me or whatever. That shouldn't have happened. But you know what? A couple of days later, you're going to forget all about it, you know? So, yeah. Um, yeah, what did I say? I think when I first started, yeah, I got another knee injury and I missed six months. Turned out I got a bone bruise on my knee. I got swept. It was really weird. I fell really weird on my knee. Um, so knee injuries, yeah, I don't know. Shoulder injuries, mm, personally, I, I didn't really get any. Although I think your shoulders take kind of a beating because there's a lot of grappling, you know. You're using your arms and stuff like that. And... Um, uh, they can get some strain. Yeah, the other day, actually, one of my shoulders got a little strained from a certain position. And you're, you're on the bottom, the dude's on top of you, and moving around and stuff like that. They can get uh, strained, your shoulders. Uh, some people hurt their back or their necks. Um, you know, anything's possible. Like, it's a sport. You know, like uh, I used to play basketball, high school basketball. I broke my nose. I, uh, what else? What I can remember, I sprained my ankle once. I had a lot of jam fingers. Um, that's what I remember. Uh, snowboarding, I used to snowboard and snowboarding, I got a lot of injuries, some fractured bones, uh, uh, torn ligaments, different, different things. So any sport is going to be... Uh, risky so all right now you, you got to take care so i don't want to make it sound really bad probably like it is i'm listing off all these injuries and stuff but um like i said it's a lot of time i spent a lot of time doing it too so the more you do it i suppose the yeah i don't know it probably increases your your, your risk or chance of getting injured so just Try to play smart. That's what I always tell myself. Play smart. And you really got to watch out because there's an unpredictable element to it. You don't know what the other person's going to do. Uh, especially, I'd say, be especially cautious with big guys. People who are bigger than you. Stronger than you. Um, new people. I would definitely be cautious with new people. If you've never st sparred with a person before play really cautious you know maybe even say hey do you want to go light sometimes they don't even ah fuck you sorry my phone's gonna die here soon so um 
yeah, I think that's all I gotta say. If anything else, you can check the description. I'll, I'll put some links to some other information. And um, I hope you have a good one. And it is, I think jujitsu can be hard on your body. Judo too. They're, they're just different. Some people, the judo, BJJ guys will say uh, judo's harder, and it's just different. I think both can be. They're just different, you know, harder in different ways. Um, you definitely got to do some cross training. I recommend do some strength training, body weight. Yoga is really good. Those things have been really helpful for me. Um, just stay in balance and whatnot. So any questions you can ask and thank you for watching.